I don't know if it says to do this because it'll eliminate the chance of getting wrinkles I do it hey what's up you guys uh welcome back to another episode of vlogmas this is actually the first time i'm speaking today so if i sound like a man i apologize so today's video is going to be my morning skincare routine do you guys hear my birds let me shut the door so today's gonna be my morning skincare routine and to be quite honest it's changed a lot since last year and i honestly think i deleted those videos anyway but I just realized I left all my skincare in the other room, so I'll be right back. I love being a professional YouTuber who never has their crap together. Please ignore how disgustingly dirty my hair is. It's been a hot minute since I've washed it and it's on my list of things to do today. So yeah, if you wanna leave a comment down below, feel free, but I already know. Okay, I forgot my headband in the other room as well. So I still have a little bit of yesterday's makeup on, which really sucks because I feel like I really pride myself on taking my makeup off every night and washing my face like every night, every morning, constantly. But lately I've gotten so bad about not washing it at night. I mean, it's taking a toll on my skin health and I've seen like I've had blemishes where I don't normally have blemishes, but been busy when I work all day the last thing I want to do is take the five minutes it takes to sit down and do my skincare which is really stupid at least most nights I'll use like a makeup wipe and remove it but even lately I've been not doing that so all right I'm gonna use a makeup wipe to take off yesterday's face which I really need to get like a makeup eraser. Let me know if the actual makeup erasers are any good or if you recommend a different brand. I really want to have like a lighter foot when it comes to using up resources and pollution and things like that and affecting the planet and I'm tired of like throwing stuff like this in the garbage. <music> with this step so that's just gonna have to be good enough for right now yes I'm throwing that in the garbage okay so lately this has been the cleanser that I've been using it's by the body shop um, tea tree oil uh, skin clearing face wash and it's suitable for blemished skin which because I've not been taking the greatest care of my face I've really been enjoying this because when I have had like a little blemish I feel like this like zaps it instantly uh, and all of these things are cruelty free by the way so I just wet my face a little bit and then I use this I get it wet as well I put a little bit of my cleanser onto this little thing and then I just wash my face. And this is not the spinning brush. This is just the vibrating one. But it, I feel like it really does get down into my pores and really cleans my face like super well. Honestly, because I missed washing my face last night, I'm gonna wash my face a second time. <laughs> it's probably not great for my skin, but it just feels really tired lately. hard to do more of like patting my face dry it's supposed to be a lot better for your skin especially if you have more mature skin like me I really do not <laughs> want to get any more wrinkles than I already have which I don't really feel like I have wrinkles I just have like the beginning signs of like fine lines and stuff so all right so after that I think I'm gonna do a mask this morning which I've not done a mask in a really really long time first I want to fix my hair because it's driving me crazy oh I just hate sheet masks they're so slimy but I prefer sheet masks definitely over peel off masks which an esthetician that I talked to the last time I got my facial she said that sheet masks really don't do not sheet masks but like the pull up the peel off masks 
they don't really do much anyhow except for primarily irritate your skin oh <laughs> what a good look I actually really like how these masks fit because I kind of have a weird <laughs> face shape with it being long and narrow but like alien sized eyeballs I'm gonna go do this mask and then I will be back with bright and glowy skin hopefully fingers crossed it is finally time to remove the mask that feels so much better all right so after the serum like soaks in to my skin I use this this is uh, I was recommended this at Ulta it is BHA blackhead power liquid by COS RX car cause RX I don't know it's a Korean beauty beauty brand <laughs> I can't speak this is supposed to remove blackheads and to control excess sebum while moisturizing the skin I don't really know what that means but yeah this stuff is pretty awesome because my pores are <laughs> the size of Australia I don't know oh shoot I forgot to tote my skin dang it okay well in a perfect world when I'm showing you guys my skincare routine I don't skip steps <laughs> but it's me so nothing's perfect and everything's a mess and chaotic um, so if I were to have toned my face which it's too late now this is what I've been using and loving lately. It's the Pixie Skin Treats Glow Tonic with 5% glycolic acid. It's an exfoliating toner and it's really freaking awesome. I had it in my drawer and it ended up leaking, so bit of advice, don't lay it down. Uh, keep it up flat. So what I do with this though is I just kind of put a little bit, I focus it on my pores around my nose and my T-zone because that's where I get the biggest pores and they look the worst and then I just kind of go all over my face. This is new to me but I really, really, really like it. It's by Juice Beauty. I've had it for like a month and I've been using it consistently every time I wash my face. It's Stem Cellular Anti-Wrinkle Eye Treatment and it's got this little plastic thingy that you're supposed to like put it on your eyes like that but I don't like doing that it kind of weirds me out so I just get a little bit on each of my ring finger and then you're supposed to pat it on I just don't have that kind of patience to sit and pat so I rub it very very softly because again wrinkles um, and I don't know if I just put it on my tops bottom sides I just put it everywhere and then I just, then I'll like tap it. And you're supposed to use your ring finger because it's supposed to be the most delicate. And I mean, I agree. I think going in with like your middle finger or your pointer finger, you can be a little bit rougher, possibly, potentially. I don't know if it says to do this because it'll eliminate the chance of getting wrinkles. I do it. For my serum, I use this. This is the Ultimate Miracle Worker Fix by Philo Philosophy. It's like 78 freaking dollars. It's weird because there's an on off. It's a rollerball. It kind of reminds me of like the deodorant. And you, tw you twist it so that it is on. And I realize I don't like the applicator at all, but I realize if you shake it down and like squeeze like all the air out, that keeps the product there. Otherwise, while you're rolling it on your face, the air escapes and then the product won't come out but I didn't think it did anything and I used it for like two weeks and I got tired of it because I don't like the applicator but then like weeks later I decided that I wanted to start like using up some of the products especially some of the products that I wasn't a fan of and I started using it again and oh my gosh it works so well this is a product that when I do have to purchase it, I'm going to. I really want to get like either threading or Botox done to my neck because I feel like that is where most of my aging is at. And I hate it. So I've been doing a lot of research on skincare and from what I can tell, what you're supposed to do is not layer more than two serums. So I don't count this as a serum. I mean, I guess it might be, but so this is like my eye serum and then my face serum. And then I go in with my moisturizer, which I'm using the title Sunday Riley. I really do like this. I said in a previous video how it smells like Nori sheets, like those, uh, 
the sushi, not sushi, it's, they use it on sushi, but it's the seaweed sheets that they use when they make sushi. Really smells like it, but like not in a bad way. It says cucumber, I don't know. I don't smell cucumber. I do like the Tatcha water cream a lot better, so I think when I'm done with this, which I got it in my BoxyCharm, I'm gonna repurchase the Tatcha. Cause it's a little bit thinner, the reviews aren't faked, and yeah. I have oily skin, and if I use like a cream moisturizer, I feel like it starts to like peel up, it starts to like ball up. This one is pretty smooth, it stays put. It doesn't give me any sort of issues. I really, I really do like it, and I like how it looks underneath my makeup. It works well even if I don't use a primer and I just go straight in with my foundation. And then second to last step, if you guys have seen any of my skincare videos, you know I love my face roller. I'm such a big fan of it, and I keep saying I'll do a video on it. <laughs> I'm hitting my neck, and so I sound weird. <laughs> but I keep saying that I'm gonna do a video with my face roller, and I never have. Maybe I can try to do that this Vlogmas, we'll see. But yeah, I love this, and I'm gonna do this now. Finally, once my moisturizer is kind of soaking in, all of my serums have soaked in. This is such an unnecessary step, but it is my last step and I only do it because I love the smell of oranges. I love this face mist. It literally doesn't really do anything but just refresh your skin and it adds like moisture. But I used to think it was a toner and then I found out, I found out that it's not and I just love the way it smells it puts me in a really good mood so yeah Mario Badescu this is the facial spray with aloe sage and orange blossom I have gone through like five bottles of this uh, this year I wish it was refillable because then I would just order like a great big thing and then just keep filling this that is my morning skincare routine it's not necessarily like my winter skincare routine it's just what I've been doing for the last couple of months. I really, really do like this skincare. I think it makes my skin look really, really good. Um, this is what I look like with no makeup on. I am 37 years old. I turned 38 in March. And I don't know, I think I think my skin looks pretty, pretty darn good with not having any work done. Uh, not to say that having work done is bad because trust me, it's on my list of like, if I want it, I'll get it. But all right, you guys, that's the end of the video. Thank you so much for watching. I will see you guys in my next video. I will be doing a nighttime skincare routine. It is different. I use much different products. Um, yeah, I will see you guys in my next video. Make sure to like, subscribe, and comment down below. And I will see you guys later, so bye.